welcome to computer class in the uh, earlier video that is understanding ms word part 1 in that video we have learned few things remaining things in this video we are going to learn now in the earlier video we have learned about microsoft word what is microsoft word how to start microsoft word all these things we are going to revise first and then we will start learning new things okay now microsoft word is an application where you can type the text matter okay like a letter a dialogue or application or a story or any other information which you want now we have learned how to start this word application for that you have to click on the start button see this is our first step after clicking on the start button a menu will come on the screen from that select programs or somewhere it is all programs options and from that option again you will get a drop down list from there select microsoft office okay now this is the element of microsoft office uh, 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 this application now after that also again a menu will appear on the screen from that select my microsoft office uh, word 2007 and the word application will get open in front of you on the screen see like this it is showing many elements on the screen correct now first we will see that is office button on the left hand side on the top office button means this includes the commands which are related to the document means how to open a document which is existed already on the computer or how to open a new document how to save how to print or how to close and come out of the word application all these commands are there under office button then comes quick access toolbar quick access toolbar means here this is a toolbar which is showing the commands which are required frequently like save button is there undo and redo buttons are there which we require frequently while uh, doing the work in microsoft word then comes the ribbon tabs so many tabs are getting displayed on the ribbon all of you know what is ribbon is it's a uh, it consists of the tabs groups and the commands <coughs> now then comes the title bar title bar shows the name of a document which is open <coughs> then windows control buttons that is minimize maximize and the close button which is on the right hand side top corner correct then comes the help button while doing the work in the microsoft word if any help is required this help button is available <coughs> then comes the ruler line then below that it is vertical scroll bar and browse button suppose the document is of many pages and from one page directly you want to jump on the third page fourth page that facility is available through browse buttons <coughs> then below at the bottom if you will see see it is zoom tools are available if you want to make the text big or small that is zoom option is available besides zoom option view buttons means the document how it will look like like a normal document or print uh, uh, view how it is how it will look like web view how it will look like that is available here status bar status bar means it is showing <coughs> the status of the document and the cursor where exactly the cursor is like how many words are before the cursor you are on which means the cursor is on which page all this is in this information is shown correct now we will see <coughs> some of this uh, paths or elements in detail like office buttons commands if you will see many commands are there first command new whenever you want to open a new document fresh document new option is available whenever you will click on the new a blank document you have to select after that and a window uh, microsoft word window will get open in front of you okay in that you can type the desired text the next option is open open means already existing file uh, which you can open through this option whenever you will click on option list of files will get listed list of files you will get which are there on the computer out of that you have to select the desired file save save as these two options are used to save the uh, text which you have typed in the document print 
if you want to take the print out of that document that is also possible through this and then close <coughs> now this this close option is used to close the particular document which is open okay now below that it is exit word this option is available means word application totally if you want to close this option you have to click now after that you can uh, you have learned how to type the text in the text area <coughs> after typing is over and suppose afterwards you thought that i want to do some changes in the text that is possible through editing means that is called editing now to do editing means to do correction or to change the font size font color or underline if you want to make all this uh, you can do but for that you have to select the text how to select the text for that there are different ways to select the text now here see first screen here only one word is selected for selecting one word you have to double click on that word the word will get selected and then you can do whatever you want to do with that word means you can change the font color size if you want to uh, change the place of that uh, word that uh, that is also possible next is the sentence for uh, if you want to select the sentence what you have to do take the cursor anywhere on the sentence and click on the sentence the sentence will get selected and now third screen at the uh, bottom the first screen that is the third screen that the uh, where a paragraph is selected how to select the paragraph triple click anywhere in the paragraph it will get selected now it's a big block of text which you want to select for that at the beginning of the text you bring your cursor and click and again take the cursor at the end of the that big block and click the full block of that text will get selected now next is the whole text means the whole document if you want to select you have to use control a this command or otherwise shift plus right arrow key you can use to select the whole text like this after selecting the text if you want to do any changes for the text that is easily possible okay now some text is already written and if you want to add a few more lines few more words or some paragraph in between means you want to insert the text for that what you will do now all this revision we have done now we are going to learn new things that is inserting the text for that place the cursor at the beginning of the uh, at the uh, place where you want to insert the word or phrase or the sentence or the paragraph and after that start typing the word either you type or paste it okay copy and paste it now after that suppose you want to move the text from one place to another place in the same document so these options to, to cut the or cut or copy or paste the options uh, text the options are available in the home tab one clipboard group is there the first group of the home tab is uh, cut copy and paste options are available for this now what you have to do you have to select the text first see it is highlighted in a light uh, blue color means the text is selected and after that you have to click on the cut option see it is shown here a caesar picture icon is given <coughs> for the cut option click on that so the text will disappear from the original position and where you want to paste you have to place the cursor see after the word paste it is shown cursor is shown there you have to place the cursor so after placing the cursor <coughs> you have to click on the paste option so the text will get pasted on that particular location on that particular position okay now after that we are going to learn how to copy and paste the text copy means the original text will remain as it is and one more copy of that text you are doing and putting it somewhere in the document that is also possible now for this copy and paste these two options are used <coughs> how to do it is shown here see again the copy command and paste command is available in the clipboard group of home tab see here in the file in the document the whole text is written but we want to uh, copy the part of this text 
so this is highlighted in the white background color you can see the highlighted text so after highlighting you have to click on the word copy click, click on the command copy after copying see place the cursor here at the bottom of the uh, document page it is we have placed the cursor and after that click on paste option okay the first option paste you click on that and the text will get pasted in the document means the original text will remain as it is plus one more time the text which you have copied and uh, copied that will get pasted understood you try to do with this after that we are going to learn the undo and redo commands undo and redo commands means what these are placed in a quick access toolbar now what is undo whatever is done don't do that that is called undo means uh, undo a change or restore the original text undo means this option reverse the effect of the last command it reverse the last command of the last command it will reverse the action okay and redo means to reverse the action of the undo command now this is little bit tricky so we will see in depth now some shortcut keys are used <clears throat> icons for undo commands are here shown with the blue color arrow and the shortcut key that is control plus z together you have to press now icons for redo button again it is shown the arrow and control plus y <coughs> control plus y command is used for that you have to select the text okay now here exercise is given exercise for undo and redo commands type undo example okay this sentence we have typed click the undo button on the quick access menu okay so if you will click there the typing will disappear the sentence will disappear because we have typed and don't do this command that is undo means that the text will disappear now we are at the cursor position is there only now if you will click on redo button what it has done earlier it 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 has disapp means uh, it uh, helped to disappear the text this command reverse means appear the text that is redo command okay try this example at home if possible you can do it properly okay now after undo and redo <coughs> suppose while typing we have done some mistakes spelling mistakes or the grammar mistakes how to rectify that that we are going to learn okay now this uh, because of inbuilt feature it gives the uh, it shows our uh, mistakes for grammar and spelling means what for grammar mistakes it is showing the uh, green underline whereas for spelling mistakes it is showing the red underline now if you are, uh, see here example suppose we want to check the word interest here <coughs> the word interest is spelled wrongly so it is uh, uh, showing the red color now how to start uh, do, doing checking for that place the cursor at the beginning of the text which you want to check for spellings and then go to review tab and then the first option spelling and grammar with the tick mark and written ABC this option you have to select after selecting this option what will happen whenever it will occur uh, this whenever it will found out any spelling which is uh, any word which is spelled wrongly so a dialog box spelling and grammar uh, dialog box will get open and in that the word which is spelled wrongly it will show you in the red color and it will give you suggestions for that word correct at the uh, uh, bottom of the screen can you see in the next part of the screen in the first uh, part on the top part it is shown the word which is spelled wrongly in the red color and now at the bottom 
it is giving suggestions for the word which uh, words may be there instead of this wrong word the correct spelling or the another words also it will show you if you want to uh, select that word highlight that word from the suggestions and click on change word see on the right hand side so many options are there ignore once ignore all or change change all okay so click on the word change it will show you the correct option which you have choose and click on <clears throat> after changing it will close that dialog box it will search for the another mistake okay now <coughs> if you will see this in this paragraph dear sir now d w -E r dear this word is spelled wrongly but this is grammatical mistake okay d e a r so it is shown green line same way it is there is mainly second grammatical error there space is there and this is grammatical error so it is shown with the green line now at the bottom it is shown with the focus the spelling is wrong so it is shown with the red color okay like this grammatical error and spelling errors you have to check before saving the document okay now here one more advanced feature is available that is using thesaurus what is thesaurus it is the book of the similar meaning words this is the meaning of thesaurus means here we are not getting book but we will get the list of the word which is highlighted for that similar meaning words or opposite meaning words also it will show and whichever we want we can choose it we can insert it in the file okay that is thesaurus again this option is available in the review tab now <clears throat> if you want to do this what you have to do you have to highlight the word which you want to find out the same meaning word or the opposite meaning word that word you have to highlight okay we have learned how to highlight the words correct so highlight that particular word go to review option select the option uh, another command that is thesaurus and whenever you will click on thesaurus on the right hand side research bar will come in that research box it will show you the same meaning words phrases or the sometimes antonyms also that is opposite meaning words and if you want to <coughs> insert the another word for the word which you have highlighted then select the proper word and click on insert drop down arrow is there click on that and select insert option okay see they are replacing the highlighted word with the new word suppose cheerful this word we are selecting from the list of that uh, research uh, uh, box okay so drop down menu if you will select that word drop down uh, arrow is shown click on that drop down arrow insert copy and look up these three options you will get if you if you want to insert that word in your document click on insert so that earlier word will get replaced with this new word which you have selected so like this <coughs> with all these options you can <coughs> make your word document properly means uh, check the spellings grammar mistakes or if you want to change the word with the same meaning it is available through thesaurus also now in this uh, chapter we have learned how to open a document how to save the document how to close the document how to insert new text means how to insert the additional text in the file that also we have learned and apart from that we have learned how to move the text in the file or document and how to copy and paste the document all this we have learned so <coughs> all of you have to go through the both the videos and whenever you will get the worksheet as well as notes uh, write it properly so try to solve it properly okay so all of you have to revise properly learn properly and in the next class we will learn something more about this word uh, application okay then